And good morning, Minecraft. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play series. Alright, so, just some server stuff. Looks like we actually have a reset coming up. Maybe Lobster. Um, so, we'll just start all over again. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I actually, I prefer the beginning of a game, so, yeah. Okay, let's get started today. What are we doing? We're making a tree farm. A tree farm? Yeah, a tree farm. A tree farm. You heard me right, a tree farm. We need to get ourselves some more force logs, because you can see we're running a little bit low. In fact, let me just turn that off entirely. Alright, so, what are we going to use to make the tree farm? We're going to use tracks, actually. So if I run out here, come over here, you can see I have a carpenter running. What is the carpenter doing? The carpenter is making these wooden ties. So these wooden ties are going to be used to make some tracks. And I took the liberty of cooking these up off camera. This is the recipe, jungle wood and some creosote oil. And you can do this with just cans and a crafting table, like a can of creosote oil. But I prefer to do it this way because it kind of saves on the creosote a little bit. Oh, looks like we're done here. And to power this, because it's a bit away from the rest of my base, I hooked up a hobby, a steam engine, and some structure pipes with some gates on them. This gate is asking if this has work. If it is, it sends a red pipe signal, then this emits a redstone signal on that red pipe signal. Now these steam engines are pretty cool, but we'll actually get into those later. Suffice to say, you provide them with fuel, you provide them with water, they have to heat up past 100 degrees C, and then they start up. Okay, awesome. So what do we do with these things? Well, that's pretty simple, actually. All we're gonna do, um, do I do this with my ME system instead? I think so. So yeah, they're talking in channel. Looks like there's going to be a world reset. And we're going to just run upstairs. There's actually a good thing about the world reset, which is that this world we're on right now is getting kind of clogged. So we're going to make some wooden rail beds. Awesome. And let's get ourselves a bit of refined iron out. Okay, now that we have the refined iron out, we're going to have to make something else. We're going to need to make a rolling machine. This is a railcraft device. Oh. Okay, then. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Now, it also needs Minecraft Jewel Power. Okay. So let's go put this downstairs. And I don't feel like making up the gates for this. Um, it takes quite a while to make gates with my one laser setup. So let me jot this on top like that. And then, can I get back here? Not really. So I'll break that, wrench this thing into position. Let's take one of those stacks of coal cook we just got. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's put the cobblestone in right there. Apologies if it looks like I'm randomly swinging at stuff. Um, my touchpad's a little messed up. Okay. I got a cobble. Let's get ourselves a stick. As you can see, I put that lever in over there so I can actually put my entire base on a standby. This is a splitter cable. I flip this switch, the cable disconnects, and power shuts down to the ME system. And I flip this switch, and this shuts off all the MJ power in my entire base. Just save on some of that force. Liquid force. Oh, that's happening again. Alright, we'll get there in just a second, guys. Hold on. Let's let's get this working first. I need to take a quick trip into the nether and show you guys something. So now that's going to happen, and that thing down there is going to heat up. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to make ourselves some... Oh, that's rebar. That's not what I want. Just like that. And that's going to start running. Um, honey can be squeezed into liquid honey or used for bealizer. Wax can make capsules like cells and be made into pipe waterproof. There we go. Nice quick answer. Oh, I'm lagging again. 
Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. Let's type that again. Now let's stop. Okay. So. Connected. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we're producing ourselves some standard rails. Don't you love the sound of those steam engines? I love them so much. Yeah, I was using my clockwork and it just wasn't working out right. So let's grab... Some of this, and let me show you what we're talking about here. Clipboard, please. Rail beds go in the middle, and standard rails go around it. Balance it. One, two, 64. Let's get another one, too. We are going to need a lot of crap for this. Just having server discussions while trying to record. Okay, so let's go upstairs and let me show you what I've been working on. All right, no, that's not yet. So as you can guess, we're obviously using tracks for this, but what are we actually going to use other than tracks? Well, we're going to use Steve's carts. So let's pull up the cart assembler. I think I have everything I need for it. Yes, I do. <clears throat> All right. That's a storage bus. Okay. I've forgotten that was there. So the card assembler, oh, look at this interface, right? Right. So we need a hull, engines, tools, attachments, storage. What the heck are we doing? Oh, okay. So the card assembler, first of all, we're going to need a minecart. No, we're not going to need a minecart. We are going to need a hull. Standard hull should be fine. Iron wheels. Iron and some sticks. Okay, we can do this. Nice and easy. In fact, let's just do it here. Boom! Standard hull. Now we're going to need some attachments to go on it. Like... Let's make a solar engine. Alright. Solar... Solar engine. We need four upgrade solar panels. Well, let's get the pistons first. So we have the pistons. Let's get ourselves two simple PCBs crafted like so. Edit. Wipe that, please. An advanced PCB, like so. One, two, three, four of those. And now, we stitched all together into a solar engine. So let's start assembling this cart, shall we? Now notice how I have a module complexity and a complexity cap. So if I understand this right, that just went into the engine slot. Now if you notice, I am currently using 200, but I can only have a total cost of my total capacity is 200. My total current cost is 20. Because right now it's just a cart with an engine in it. That's not too bad, is it? Right. Now let's get it. Hmm. Let's get it the wood cutting core. Basic. One, two, three, four, five saw blades. Okay. One, two, three, four, five saw blades. That was easy. The wood cutting core. Okay. So we need advanced PCB. Do I have any of the? Oh wow, I already have that. Okay. And then, so let's get ourselves this thing. Wood cutting core. And I can, I can staple it all together like that. All right, so now we now we can do something. All right, that's that's pretty easy. Now we can actually do something with it. Well, what else do we want to do with this thing? That's a good question. We need a because we're going to be cutting down these four saplings. 
we need another upgrade. We need, I think it's called an exotic, tree exotic, there we go. Let's get one of you. Ah, we need another PCB. This isn't cheap, by the way, and this would actually be, eh? All right, let me give you guys a quick hint here. What's being a pen in the butt? You can use this to transmute to what you need to. Boom, tree exotic. So let's put this in now, add-ons, okay. So now let's get ourselves a, let's try a fertilizer. We need another simple PCB, of course. Uh, we don't have the glass bottles, okay. We get ourselves a fertilizer. Jump that on. And now I want to get some side chests. All right, so we need some huge chest panes. Okay, looks like I just need some other regular chest panes now. Let's do that. Let's do that. Get ourselves some chest locks. I need two more of these. Created one too many. Now we have our side chests. Doesn't look too bad, does it? It can cut. Solar powered, but it can still cut. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Why can't I assemble? Oh, it started. But it needs fuel. Hmm. Let's get some coal. Because this thing can only run on coal. And it'll be done in 20 minutes. Joy of joys. Okay, so let's go upstairs and let's start working on this stuff, shall we? <laughs> oh, I forgot to put an on-off lever. Automatic cutoff switch on that thing. Oopsies. I'm going to be using this a lot because I actually want to build a railway. But doesn't look like that's going to be happening on this iteration of the server, perhaps. Let's craft one more. And we're done here. Okay. So let's run upstairs and you will be able to see I've actually already prepared a little area to build this farm in. Do, do, do. We had some slight problems in the nether, which I'll be showing you in a second, because soon we're going to be cutting into our power draw. So let's get up here. Go over here. Oh, it's nighttime. Joy. Got a chest plate on here. Hello, buddy. Nope. Alright, so I put this area up here, right? This looks like a nice little area where we can set up a little farm. So let me just wrap this like so. And like so. And I'm already hearing people saying, Mr. Kassarian, there are like five different inventories in that thing. There are like five different inventories going on there. How are you going to sort it out? because I don't think Railcraft has anything that lets you do that. Yeah, that's a very good point, actually. And we're going to fix that right now. So let's run back downstairs. How did you get in here? Stop it. If you notice, we've been having some minor issues. Um, Natura, actually, we got a corrupted version. It got pulled from the, the pack. Um, and that's caused some problems in the nether. So let's pull this open. And we need to get an advanced detector track thing. Interesting. I need an advanced... 
detect detector advanced detector rail now I don't want to see its uses darn it <sighs> advanced detector track I believe so Oh, and I forgot to have any of this. No, not that. This. Pressure plate one, pressure plate two. Stick it on. There we go. Oh, you get two for the price of one. Not too shabby. Now we're going to need a cargo manager. Boom. And then we're going to need a distribution manager. Boom, except I can't. External distributor, one, two, three, four. Boy, this isn't cheap on the resources, is it? And an external distributor. And I will show you guys what these do, okay? Uh, no, we'll just use a standard engine. So let's run ourselves upstairs and we will take a look. Do, 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 do. And I'll be right back. Come on, buddy. And we're back, okay. Sorry about that. These guys don't know when to quit. All right, let's put it right about here. Advanced detector rail. All right, let's drop you down. Ta-da. And let's put the cargo manager right next to him. Right there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to... Well, I guess I'm going to go off camera for a minute. No, not what I... Gosh darn it. This is the problem when you build this stuff on sand. I'm just going to cut out around here and replace all of this stuff with dirt, which shouldn't take me more than a few minutes, thanks to my uber fast drill that's about to run out of battery power, so it'll take me more than just a couple minutes. Just like this. So we will be right back. All right, so while we're configuring everything, let's look at this cargo manager. Confusing, right? Not really. First, let's split it out, okay? If you notice, each side of the manager has a specific color to it. Blue, red, this is the yellow side. So I'm going to tell it we need at least three sides affecting yellow, right? These buttons affect whether it turns back, which we don't want because this is a circular path. So what I'm going to say is that the first thing it's going to do is take everything out of the storage slots Okay, so we're going to be pulling out of the storage slots here, right? And then I want it to say that it's going to be putting fertilizer in, into the cart, and then that it's going to be putting well, we actually don't need this side. So that's pretty much all we need to do. Items come out, fertilizer goes in. Items come out, fertilizer goes in. Nice and simple. So that's how you get items to deal with this machine. So, how? What? Okay, well, I'll deal with that later, guys. Okay, so now how do we get stuff out of this machine? Well, that's, that's an interesting question. So we're going to take our external distributor and plop it um, ex external distributor hello where'd it go? I'll be right back there we go, just had to relog <laughs> so then we have our external distributor put in I'm going to put some space in here too and what the external distributor does is that I can say, right that this upper left side is where the cargo is coming out of and into the manager, right? 
So I can say blue side, I want you to connect to top left, just like that. Right? Right. Cool, right? Yeah. Let me just put another hole down here. Let me show you something else I can do. I can say on the purple side, I want you to go to bottom left. So I could put items in on the purple side and on the blue side. Okay, so that's actually good news. Because we're using multiverse, what we're going to do is create a new overworld, and everyone can move their items into that overworld. So a couple days to move everything over. So that's going to be kind of a long process. Hey, that might be my first actual live stream. <laughs> Yeah, when that comes out, that'll be my first live stream. I'll do it live. I'll move all my items over. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're still waiting on this thing. Another nine minutes. So I'll be back once it's done. And when you look at that, we are done. Fine. Get back here. Finally, we are done. So let's go upstairs, and it's nighttime. Uh, of course it is. Yay. Let's get upstairs, and let's take care of this, shall we? Yes, we shall. So, if we come up here, you can see this is a fairly bright area, so let's stick this guy down. And of course, he's not getting... Yeah, because the light level isn't high enough. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some stuff in the woodcutter, right? Then let's put some bones in the fertilizer. All right. So once it becomes daytime, we should see the solar engine deploy, right? In theory. It's kind of cool when it does, actually. We're almost there. Come on, buddy. Come on. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Come on. Just a little bit more. Ah, it should be deploying now. There it goes. Ish. Still registering is out of power. Let's see if one more light level does the trick. There we go, we're getting power now. And you can see it's planting the trees. Now it should. Yeah, there it goes. And it's going to keep moving. 132. I think it's going to place all the trees first, and then I'll start worrying about everything else. I think I forgot about this set over here. Look at that. And what it's going to do is it's going to harvest that wood, and the initial saplings will be automatically replaced first before it starts dropping any of them off. So then we should get a nice surplus of wood building up. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to come over here, right? And we told the blue side that it was the output, right? For the side that's pulling the crap out of the thingy and the thingamajig. So we're just going to stick that on there. And we're going to put our ender chest on our base import frequency. Which isn't really our base imported frequency now that I think about it. Because we need to get a diamond for it. Because I had completely forgotten about that. So let's run downstairs. We shouldn't be getting anything in there for a little while at any rate. Not until those trees start growing up. Actually what I'll do is I'll get a little bit of bone meal. Just to help the process along, let's say. So let's get some bone meal and let's get what's the other thing I was looking for oh a diamond almost a stack now the downside of this machine is that it requires the use of durability it costs durability to make this stuff but we shouldn't have too much of a hard time with it shall we I don't think so at any rate let's run upstairs like this You can see that thing still pretending to try and run. And don't worry, we're going to get back to that build eventually. There we go. And now it's linked. 
And now let's bow meal one of these. Boof! Oh, look, one already grew. So you can see, this guy's going to pull over here. And he should have enough energy remaining. Yeah, there he goes. And he's going to cut this guy down. He's going to pull the sampling back. Now, I don't think he's going to pick up any... Yeah, he's not fertilizing them at all. Okay. And now, if you can see, he's offloading. We should be able to see some force logs get pulled out and dropped into the chest. Which is on our white, white, white locked frequency. Our personal white, white, white frequency. It is what it is, right? Oh, uh, or is it white, white, blue? Now I don't remember. <laughs> Oops. It actually may not be a locked frequency now that I think about it. I think I may just have picked one that no one else was using. I think that's white, white, blue, maybe? Well, let's find out. Let's let's just pull her up and take a look. No, red, red, blue. Why didn't I just use white, white? Man, red, red, and how much lapis do I have? Okay, now we're going to do one more thing here once this is set up, and we're not going to hook it in. I will hook it into the network off camera. All I'm going to do is do a basic export bus into a that one of those squeezers. And that's literally all I'm going to do with it. That's that's just it. <laughs> There's no reason to do anything else. Uh, let me just bound up here. Was it red, red, blue? Should be. Red red blue yep okay and now it is actually there we go now it's pumping in nice and easy and three and two and do I have a one And we're off again. And as you can see, it's going to cut down the trees. Leaves go first, then go the saplings, and it'll re automatically replant them as soon as it's harvested them. I don't know why it doesn't consider this stuff to be dirt over here, but that's okay. So yeah, it looks good. Oh, another one grew. Well, we're going to get like, a lot of this stuff. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to do one last thing. And then we will probably end up calling this an episode. Just charge downstairs here. And just so you guys know, yep, that system's pretty much self-sustaining. I will have to replace those woodcutters. Um, and I'll probably, you have to do that with diamonds. So that's a little expensive. But no big deal. Uh, we have pretty good force. What we're going to do is we're now going to make a lap pack. It's an upgraded version of the bat pack, right? Oh, I don't think I can yet, can I? Uh, because I don't have an MFSU. Right. All right, that'll have to wait, I guess. So that, ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, a comment, a subscription. Just let me know you're out there and that you enjoyed what I do. All right. I want to thank you so much. I want to thank Psycheon Roa and Nick, both for hosting, maintaining, and generally supporting the server. If you have a chance, check them out, twitch.tv slash psycheonroa. Link is in the description below this video. There is also a link to my donation page if you are feeling especially generous today. I don't want to push it too much, but I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get myself a new computer um, so I can do more stuff for you guys. All right, great. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Mr. Kassarian, and as always, happy mining.